All right, guys, on today's video, we're gonna go over the attachment methods that are out there on the market, how they perform with the X2s, some plus and minuses, and just for a little background, I've hunted with all these over the course of the years, and I do have a few favorites, and let's get it started. Some thoughts here on the traditional buckle. Obviously, it is very fast uh, to get on the tree. You can store it on your stick very easily. Uh, I guess a negative would be noise or potential air of banging against other objects. Uh, they're heavy too. You don't want to take one of those in the knuckle in a, on a cold morning. Um, but there's still, you know, it is probably the most secure method, right? Using a a strap that's got all this surface area because it's one inch thick really allows this stick to bite good. I've used these straps for years and they work great. I will say now I am only using these on kind of my semi-permanent or semi-run and gun type sets with like the X3s, the traditional turn steps. Another really popular option is the buckleless method. And some pros to this, you still got a lot of um, surface connection because you're using a one inch strap. There's no additional cost, right? If you're buying a stick, generally it comes with this style strap. Um, it goes on easy. It packs pretty good on the stick. Uh, it, as far as climbability, it does really well. It's pretty fast too to get in place. And that's because I'm pulling on the strap, keeping tension on the stick, and then I'm getting it into position. Some negatives to the buckleless method, there's just no additional tightening mechanism, right? It built into the, just a strap. But other than that, it's a pretty solid method and I've used that one. It's definitely one of my favorites. Another really popular uh, attachment method is a daisy chain. Generally, these are made out of am steel, so they are lighter uh, than other ropes on the market and straps. And this is like a, basically a bunch of little loops. And what you do to, to attach it is toss that bad boy around the tree. And a lot of people really like this. And you select the loop that is closest to your, obviously tie off your tail. This is a very fast method. I will say that. These are very fast. I don't love any sort of daisy chain because it does roll a little bit on the bark. And then in between them, you can use a technique. Some guys, if you're in between loops, will tilt this to the side to get it tighter and then square it back up. I'll be honest, a lot of people love daisy chains. I'm just personally not the biggest fan. New method for me this year is actually a aim steel rope with a activated like Prusik system to tighten it uh, by simply like cinching. So you get a little bit of like the buckle tightness type effect, but you still have a light rope. Come around the tree, go to your button. And with this method, I get it perpendicular, boom. Cinch her down, she's good to go. Pretty fast, pretty good. Uh, definitely would tie off this tail so it's not blowing in the wind. I would say the buckle definitely climbs the best, most secure. I'd say the daisy chain is probably the fastest, but in my opinion, you can't get it as tight or as good as some other options. If one or was underrated, I think it's the buckleless because you get that one inch surface area all the way around the tree. It holds really well and it's pretty easy to do. Guys, let us know in the comments what you guys run. Good luck in the woods.